hi welcome to my channel so this is my first YouTube video and I've always wanted to make one I just didn't really know where to start for the past year I've been really into skincare and so I figured that'd be a good place to start so ever since I got into skincare specifically K-beauty it's kind of changed my lifestyle in a way too because not gonna lie I used to smoke for like three years and I know I kind of realized that like what's the point like if I'm gonna smoke and try to take care of my skin like that kind of counteracts each other so it kind of changed my life in that way a little bit since then i have just been learning a lot and trying to figure out what works for my skin and i kind of just wanted to make this video to help anybody that's just beginning skincare or just needs a couple product recommendations i know that when i began learning about skincare it was really difficult for me just because there's just so much information out there and it's kind of hard to know what product will work for your skin you can watch all the youtube videos and everything about what product works for someone else's skin but it might not work for your skin and it's really important that when starting a skincare routine you cannot like just throw on a bunch of products at once you have to introduce them one at a time because otherwise it'll just do more damage to your skin um it can actually sensitize it which is what i did which was ridiculous and it was like a it, it took me like two months to finally like get my skin back onto a healthy track. Yeah, when you start out, make sure you don't just take a bunch of products, do them at once, take one at a time. And give it like two weeks or one to like see if it irritates your skin. And that way you'll know which product is doing that to your skin. One of the brands that has been really helpful to my skin is Claire's. It is a Korean brand and it's definitely great for people with sensitive skin and I don't have sensitive skin, I have combination skin, but I do get some redness like in my cheek area. So the first product is Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream and that is one of the best products that I've been using for my skin. Just because a lot of other moisturizers just didn't really like moisturize my skin, my skin still felt kind of dehydrated. Um, it's a really great moisturizer to strengthen your skin barrier because it has niacinamide and other ceramides and also I learned that so when you're 20s and you're like teens, you want to protect your oil and water balance of your skin. Even though it's a rich cream, it like soaks in really well. So even oily skin types could use it, especially because it does help to balance the oil in your skin. And that's the main reason why sometimes people think that they can't use moisturizers if they have oily skin. But actually if your skin produces more oil when it's not really moisturized. So this product is my absolute favorite that I have used since being introduced into skincare. It is the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. So in this, there is guazoline and centella asiatica extract. So basically, guazoline is a derivative of chamomile, and it really just helps to calm down your skin. So it's especially good for people with redness-prone skin and also acne. So they, people with acne or just like oily skin because use this as their like everyday moisturizer. Um, personally, I mix this with the Rich Moist Soothing Cream because I do need a little bit more moisturizer, but I also do like the calming effect of it, of this moisturizer. Uh, Centella Asiatica is actually also a calming agent. And it says that it's good for after sun care. So if you have a sunburn or anything, uh, this is also really good for it. But overall, it could also just be used as a daily moisturizer, depending on your skin type. This is like the main thing that has helped with the redness in my skin, like on my cheek area. And the next product is Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence. So this is a everyday sun protector, soft, weightless, invisible daily sunscreen that guards against UVA, UVA, UVB without leaving greasiness or white finish. And this is SPF 50 plus and PA plus 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 so basically when you use a sunscreen you want to make sure that it's 30 or above and you need to be using sunscreen daily like it does not matter i know a lot of people that think it's like weird to use a sunscreen every single day but it is the most important thing uh when i was younger i you know i just used that like olay moisturizer that with like spf 15 but that doesn't do shit like you have to have at least a 30. um so yeah uva and uvb UVA means it guards against aging rays, which is 
what the PA++++ stands for. So the more pluses, the more it guards against that. And UVB guards against the sunburn rays. Um, you really do need to use one of these daily. I know that it was so hard for me when I began skincare. Because I could not find a good sunscreen. A lot of the ones that I used would pill, which is like when, you know, it kind of like your lotion like rolls up or something, or like it just like doesn't layer well with makeup. Um, so that was like a discouragement for me, but I've like recently found like a few good sunscreens that I really like, and there are way more out there. This one's definitely my favorite, but I have a few others that I can review in a later video. And so it's a water-based gel texture, and it's a UV essence. So basically essences are more like silky. So this one really just like glides onto your skin. Again, it's great under makeup. Uh, it doesn't leave a greasy finish, doesn't leave you oily, really just soaks into your skin and protects it, and it's really great for sensitive skin. So overall, this has been like a lifesaver for me. It's also vegan friendly if that's important to you. And also it's 80 milliliters and only like $22. And so that's really good for a sunscreen or any products in general. Also, it leaves zero white cast and it doesn't matter. Like no matter what skin color you have, it will not leave a white cast. That's because it's a lot of, so there's two different types of sunscreen. There's a physical and a chemical. So physical sunscreens are what you think of when you think of white cast on your skin. So that's ingredients like titanium dioxide and zinc and chemical blend easier into your skin. But depending on your skin type though, mineral or physical sunscreens may be better for you. Uh, it just depends on what works for your skin. Personally, this is really good for sensitive skin, um, any color skin, it will not leave any residue, it won't leave any white cast, I highly recommend this. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any other skincare questions, please ask me below. Um, I plan to do other videos besides skincare, but this is just what I've been interested in lately. So yeah, thanks for watching, bye.